What's your favorite memory of the year, accomplishment-wise? Probably Cheyenne this year. Well, I had surgery over the 4th of July run, missed all that, and then when I came back, I bucked off, I think, 10 or 11 horses in a row, and I haven't done that since ever, even when I started rodeoing. I hadn't done that math. My first rodeo back after surgery was Vernal, bucked off, showed up to Cheyenne, and first round there, everything clicked again, and. Uh, kept advancing, ended up winning Cheyenne, and I mean, I had the goal from the start of the year to break the single season earnings record in all three events. Two out of three was pretty good, and I, hopefully next year I can break them all. Let's talk about that surgery real quick that kept you out of the 4th of July run. What happened and what did you have to do to get it fixed? So in 2019, a bull jacked me up on my rope and I sat on it and it broke it. Well, it was only hairline fractured then and just kept getting worse and worse and we went into surgery and there was that bone was broke off there was breaks down the back of it they had to grind it down and smooth it out and but it was crazy because when i walked out of surgery i had a stronger grip than when i went in i always tell people they're like oh you've had an awesome year no hiccups i'm like uh oh. the first rodeo of the year in denver i broke my ankle went to san angelo i think it was one of my first ones back Popped my hip out and pulled my groin. <laughs> Went down to Del Rio, rode my first round bull, and well, in the short round, I got in this little rank bull of Corey Mountain's named Crash Cart. I guess my knee pressed into him and my body rolled over it. Popped my hip back in. I felt the pop and I, I jumped up and the pain was gone. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> A bull had to pop it back in. 